let me get some specific information on training. Okay. <clears throat> now, the guy uh, that's starting your program, let's say you're training him or let's say it's me, uh, I work out on Monday. And I'm going to do, I want to know how to group my body parts. And I think last time we talked about training chest and back together. Back, chest and back on, on the same day. Okay. Now I want to go in and I'm going to warm up the chest muscles by doing maybe a, a two sets of 10 with a 135 pounds on the bench press. Well, it, it's difficult, if not impossible, to give everybody a perfect warming up program because warm-up needs vary, Bill. Mm -hmm. They vary according to the individual's age an existing physical condition, and even the temperature of the gym can affect warm-up needs. But there is a general principle here that will serve as an effective guideline, and the principle is this. Perform any amount of warming up that you believe to be minimally required. What you have learned through experience is minimally required so that you're secure in the knowledge you can proceed to the intense portion of the workout and not injure yourself. Okay. So it's an individual thing, and it's, it's something that most experienced lifters will come to recognize ours, you know. Almost immediately, yeah. Okay. Now, it's also true here that the program that I recommend is a high-intensity, a low-to-moderate-force exercise program. It is not a powerlifting program, i.e. high-intensity, high-force. I'm not recommending people do one to three rep maximums. Right. I recommend that they do six to ten reps to failure. If an individual is performing is set with a weight that allows six to ten reps in reasonably strict fashion. It's not very likely he's going to hurt himself. The first several reps, in other words, serve as a further warm-up. Yeah, it's true. If, if he was a power lifter, training in such a way that he's doing one to three reps, then he'd have to, to do a different kind of a warming-up program. Right. But this is not power lifting. We're not looking to demonstrate strength here. We're looking to build strength and size, a different type of training. Right. Uh, so don't worry about getting injured with this type of training program. I get a lot of questions on this. Uh, and the best way to answer it is by pointing out again that this is a high-intensity, low-to-moderate force exercise regimen.